bit over 50 years ago, Fort Worth argued over taking down the Ridgely Wall, a wall and fence that ran along what is now Bryant Irvin Road, separating Ridgely and Como. It stood out as a preteen and a teenager. It, it felt kind of like a given. It was a manifestation of, of, of the wall, walls that existed throughout the city. This was just a, a more tangible wall, but you know, there were walls all over the city. This just happened to be one that was visible. The wall, which was built in the 1940s, separated White Ridgely from Black Como. Prejudice is taught, so we weren't taught to hate the wall or to hate the people on the other side of the wall. We just knew that the wall was there and it was for us not to cross on the other side. So what appeared to be designed to keep us out was really keeping them in. But it was a brick wall, red bricks, and it pretty much was the length of Como on the on the west side. The wall extended farther than the concrete. A chain-link barbed wire fence ran 10 blocks along what was then Guilford Road. So it's still, to me, an invisible wall there. And uh, I mean that literally and figuratively. There is still a wall there. It's invisible because the divide is still there. There are those that would still have us be separate. 